Good morning. Today we are going back on Expert Village to watch what is arguably the worst drum solo ever made. And yes, we already watched this in my last Expert Village review video. However, this time I went in depth and analyzed and transcribed these drum solos. So in this video, we are going to find out what makes this so gosh darn terrible. So here we have Ryan Larson, the jack of all trades on Expert Village, and he made two separate drum solo slash lesson videos, and we're gonna watch both of them here. But first, if this video gets 3,000 likes on it, I will actually learn one of these exactly as written and play it in a video. So make sure that you click that like button. So we're gonna go through and play some simple grooves and talk about it, and then we're gonna analyze them in the next segment. Wow, that was, that was just perfect. Yeah, just everything from these janky Tom angles to the, the terrible video quality and poor edits. Th this is gold right here. This is just fantastic. So let's go back and take a look from the top. Uh, you guys like how I notated what he said. That was, that was just for funsies. So okay, we got this 4-4 uh, four, four, uh, swung 16th note groove. Starts out very interesting. So we kind of go from straight 16ths and morph into swing during these bars. Then of course we have the good old drop the stick in your lap visual. <laughs> okay, so this part right here, this wasn't his fault. Whoever was editing this video made some really terrible cuts. Uh, usually uh, when you're cutting a solo, you'll wanna make a cut on a downbeat and then splice in the next part that also starts on a downbeat. That's a pro video editor move right there. But yeah, Expert Village, uh, they <laughs> they made this cut like in the middle of the measure here to make this a 1916, as in there are three extra 16th notes in the bar. But this next to 2732, this was all him and 7 sixteenths. Like, I don't know what the heck he is doing right there. I guess he really needed to fix that, that tom tom. Yeah, he's getting the stick all up in there. I don't know. Like, why did that make it in the video? Like, I want to see the parts that got cut out of this solo. Like, if that was good enough to be in there. And then, of course, we end with cowbell, because we always need more cowbell. Okay, now we have the uh, second part here where he claims that he's going to analyze it, but, well, he doesn't. And also keep in mind that this man was paid to make these videos. Just keep that in mind as we're going through this. So now we're going to keep this basic groove going, and we're going to do a little improv. And the best way I think to do this is to keep the bass going with the snare, keep that basic. And then use your free hand to move around the drum set and do a little painting. Or you can even keep it between the, the face and the hi-hat so you have both hands free. So by keeping that steady rhythm or that pulse going, I can move all over the drum set, I can lose the feel, I can get it going again, but it all says gold and it all insinuates that pulse that I have deep inside my soul. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> this man is so 
confident. Just look at how confident he said all that. Deep inside my soul. When I first saw this video, this came out like probably like nine years ago. I thought this was like a parody, like a joke video, but it's not. <laughs> this man was dead serious. So I'm sure all of you, no matter what kind of training you have in music, you can tell that the pulse of this drum solo is pretty not good at all. Like here, I'm just gonna start it at the end and I'm gonna snap my finger in time. Try to snap along with me. See, see how good you do here. I can lose the feel, I can get it going again. Yeah, if you're losing the feel of a basic 4-4 beat, then that's really, really bad. Like, that is a mortal sin as a drummer. So from the beginning, we establish this groove right off the bat. And then we run into some issues here. <laughs> I also appreciate how the, uh, the pedal hi-hat is just, you know, thrown in random places. Like, yeah, just put those anywhere. They, they don't need to go in any specific place. All right, I'm, I'm not gonna listen to this crap again. This is gonna make my eardrums rupture. It's like every time he does these wild freaking tom fills, it just gets way out. Like, we just need like a basic groove here, right? That would, that would be fine. Yeah, I'm being like super critical and probably kind of obnoxious about this video, but this man was paid to make a drum lesson, and this was his lesson that was presented on a educational website. However, Expert Village has updated their YouTube page. Last time I went on it, it looked like this. And now this is what it looks like. They don't have the missing person as their profile picture anymore. They got the letter E, which I, I guess that's a step up. <laughs> I also don't recall all of these playlists being on here all nice and organized, but most importantly, the original uploads from these Ryan Larson drum lessons, they have been deleted from the Expert Village YouTube page. So somebody over at Expert Village is doing some good work. I'm proud of you. Wait a minute, do, do they still have that freaking how to play triplets video on here? Oh my, that's still on here. Oh my God, dude, this freaking guy. I'm gonna demonstrate how to do triplets. Well, wait a minute, this is different. Holy crap, those are actually triplets. <laughs> Wow, that is pretty awesome. <laughs> I guess that section was at the end of the video. I don't think I ever actually watched this thing the whole way through, because I know on YouTube you can edit out parts of the video. I don't think you can splice things into it, though. But this was my reaction from watching it last year, and this is what the video used to be. <laughs> Those are triplets! That's sixteenth notes and eighth notes. <laughs> Uh. Yeah, expert village, good job stepping it up with your educational content. So, these Ryan Larson d drumming videos are still up here, but those are re-uploads from other people. Because once you upload something to the internet, it will stay on the internet forever. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this in-depth analysis. Compose a comment if you think this is the worst drum solo you've ever seen. And if there is a different drum solo that you think is worse than this, then please let me know. I want to see it. And also make sure that you click that subscribe button, ring that liberty bell, and click that like button. And also consider buying a custom t-shirt such as this one. I will leave that link in the description. And have a good morning.